All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Charles, the face of trade tables, and we're here at our locals. While things game, get ready to start our uh, local tournament on a Saturday. It's gonna be a thing that we're doing here from now on. We're vlogging our Saturday events and letting you guys know how the deck is doing. Uh, once again, I'm playing Yu Bell and uh, made a couple of minor changes. Kind of went back to the old way I was playing with the uh, cashiers, you know, cashier engine and whatnot. So, uh, we're gonna see how we do today, and I'll let you see, you guys. I'll play by play each round. All right. See you then. All right, YouTube, so we just got done with round one. We're getting ready to head into round two here in just a second. Uh, I had to play against uh, Crystal Base. It was a very interesting deck. Uh, my player had game one just completely cooked me, like, real hard. Like, I had too many negates. I couldn't play through it. Uh, game two, I did brick, but I was able to play through it and ended up super poly my opponent's board. Big tire board for a loving defender, six bodies plus my uh, UL. Yeah. And then game three, uh, I, you know, just probably played my hand job, held it in place, ended up winning the round. So, round one to UL. All right, ready to go to round two. All right, YouTube. So we just got done with round two, and uh, I just think back to what the play against Black Wings. Um, uh, that deck is very interesting and hard to play against sometimes. Uh, game one, he got full combo, had no hand drops. He uh, had the whole board set up. I had to play through two board wipes and then set my board to hopefully survive the next turn. He didn't have an out for my uh, my right tongue. Next turn, I just uh, summoned a couple of U Bells and ran them into his towers and won the game. Game two. Some of the King Tiger sets a card. I luckily have the Emperor full combo winning here. So, uh, and it is what it is. <laughs> All right, you two. So, round two, once again, you go wins 2 0. On to the next try. My YouTube, we just got done with round three. Had to play against Tempine. Of course, the deck, as always, is very difficult to play against, but. We uh we got an A in game one. We uh Griffin locked him and he couldn't he couldn't play around it. Game two, uh open, D barrier, solemn the judgment, uh S uh uh bell setup and we were able to clutch the game out in the end. So we are still undefeated right now. Three and going into round four. See you in the bed, All right, YouTube, so we just got done with round four, and uh, I had to play against Snake Eyes. Uh, it was a very tough match, but I didn't get it this time. Uh, we uh, I just couldn't, couldn't break board. I lost dice roll, and I couldn't break the board. Game one, game two, um, my hand was kind of mediocre. I did hit on Griffin Lock, uh, plus uh, Solemn Judgment, and... Um, the bell trap, then he had double cyclone, which just completely killed me, blow me out. So it is what it is. We are now X1, going into round five, one more round, and then uh, we'll get to the closing conclusion of this tournament. See you in the Water. All right, YouTube. So, tournament is over, and um, we got fourth place today. We went X1, uh, taking our only loss to uh, Snake Eye in uh, round four. So, uh, deck performed well. Uh, real quick, we're gonna give a. Um, uh, we got two packs for prizes. So we're gonna, I want to. I want to open these real quick on camera for you guys. See what I pulled. I and uh, oh, this board, so that'd be great. Pack number two, see what we get. Yeah, I go first. We're playing golf. Man, can I seal these packs real good? And oh, the ashes fusion. Let's go. All right, this guy's not bad. Not bad. Uh, not a great pulls, but it's all right. Uh, so uh, the list played well. We're gonna do a quick rundown of the list in the, the day. You know what changes we made, what we did. Um, real quick uh, for the main deck. 
Um, of course, we're still doing the uh, the one of each. I don't think there's any reason to play anything more than that, so that's it for those. Um, we are playing, still playing three Spirit of You Bell. Uh, today, we weren't playing the Unchained, so we were on uh, three Lotus, and then we were also playing uh, three Great Squirmer. Um, we were back on the Dark Beckoning Beast package today. Uh, it was really good. Um, I, I, I think it's definitely the better way to play the deck. Don't get me wrong, Tour Guide was fun. And um, the uh, Phoenix Rhino Warrior was really good, but this, I think it's just the best way to do it. Um, we also played the one, Shavara, the only Unchained monster we played in the main deck. Um, back on Fenrir today, um, solid. Uh, really decent. I like the card in the deck. I think I drew it a couple times, but when I did, it was always really good. It overperformed every time. Um, Tan Traps, Ash Blossom. Honestly, probably, I think I might want to go back to siding these instead of main decking them. Thinking about playing Nib. Uh, tell me what you guys think, but this card feels really underwhelming. Like, it, it just doesn't feel all that good right now. It just doesn't do enough. Uh, Valor was very strong uh, today. It, you know, I actually this card was super, super good. So I definitely wanna wanna keep playing Valor for sure. Uh, on the spells, of course, three thrones. Um, only two nightmare pain. Uh, we played two tactics. This card was super solid today. Uh, we played one map. Um, I only drew it once, but I like it in there just for consistency. Um, one terraforming and one spirit open gates. Yes, I'm still only playing one spirit open gates. I don't care what anybody says. It is your opinion if you want to play two. I hate to draw multiples of this card. I really don't think it's necessary. One is just enough. Plus, I don't want to open this one. I want to open uh, the um, Beckoning Beast. So, I only play one. Um, we play one, one for one. It starts insane. Um, and then, uh, of course, the Call by the Grave. Uh, the one trap, I'm not playing the Unchained Trap. I actually just like playing this card more. It's better than the Grand Game. Um, so, uh, I, I enjoy playing this. And then, another card that overperformed really well was Imperm. Uh, I, as far as hand traps concerned, Imperm and Valor are just insane right now. So, and then, real quick on the extra deck, we are still playing the one of uh, because I played that trap card and this card came in. It actually won me uh, game round, round one and game two. So, card's insane. Uh, the rank 10. Uh, Self explanatory. This is the new tech. Um, I actually started playing Gen Buster. Uh, I don't think I, I think I summoned it once today, and that's it. Um, a lot of people were stopping my uh, Dark Beckoning Beast when I was playing it, so I, I didn't get to like, you know, I was getting impermed on Dark Beckoning Beast, so I didn't get to play this very much, but uh, I still want to keep testing it. The card seems good in testing online, so. Uh, Link 1, Amarage, and then our Link 2 is Solar Rage, SP. Uh, we played two Yamas, one Mudcracker. Link 3 is we played uh, the Anguish, we still playing the Unicorn, and then Link 4 is we got our Griffin, Access Code, and Appaloosa. Alright, then real quick on the um, extra deck, I, I played two of these, uh, I cited this in probably more than anything today, surprisingly, um, I, 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 don't, I was meaning it on Wednesday. I don't like mating it, but I still, I still uh, signed it in quite a bit. I, I didn't sign in every match, but I did sign in more than anything else. Uh, I tested this card. Uh, we we had we used to have flu players. Uh, I think I signed in once against a dark world deck player, and that was it. Uh, this will probably come out of the side, but I just wanted to test it to see how I like it. Um, three cosmics, three scale drain, three D barrier, and two solemn judgment. Uh, this card is actually pretty clutch all day. I'm probably gonna bump this to three uh, for future play, but yeah, that was the side deck. All right. So, All right, we're without further ado, of course, we like we promised, uh, we had a giveaway, uh, and you know, this is this is the prototype right here, guys. Um, it's not the actual one, but 
Um, we are doing a giveaway. We did get our five names picked out. Um, once I reveal these five names, you guys are going to be, you want to hit us up on our Instagram. All right. Uh, Instagram is uh, trade, trade underscore tables. All right. Um, so we're going to have the link down in the uh, description. So you guys want to make sure you hit us up once you see this video and you know that your names have been picked out. Uh, the five names that was picked out, we got John G. Uh, that is the name on the YouTube account, John G. We got um, Kuda B43, uh, Nicholas Ruck, uh, two, Tua, Nicholas Ruck Tua, and Raid Raptor Raymond, and Felipe J09. All right, you guys hit me up on my trade tape on uh, trade tables Instagram. This trade underscore tables. Hit me up on Instagram and. Uh, so you can send me your information and I will ship these uh those field centers out to you guys, all right? But this is Charles the Face of Trade Tables. Signing out. Peace.